What's up buttercups and welcome to a yet another Saturday video. This week I'm going to show you guys how my family likes to make rotel dip. So you can make rotel dip a million different ways, but this is my family's favorite way. So, for this recipe you are going to need a block of Velveeta cheese or store brand, some ground beef, black olives, black beans, two cans of rotel, tomatoes, some taco seasoning, and some tortilla chips. So the first thing I like to do is open up all of my cans and get everything prepped. So I'm opening up the cans of tomatoes and then the other cans and then I am rinsing out the black beans and then I'm going to use a um, mushroom slicer to slice up the black olives into slices. So you can obviously buy them pre-sliced but I think that's a little more expensive than just buying whole black olives and you obviously don't have to put black olives on. My family loves black olives and I just put it back in the can and then I'm taking the cheese and cutting it up into cubes just so it melts faster and easier and it has such a weird texture. It's fake cheese. So I'm using the um, crop, the not crop, but the instant pot to this recipe and so I'm putting it on to saute first to saute the ground beef in the bottom with some taco seasoning. So you basically just want to cook this until it is cooked. I mean, there's really no other way to explain this step. And you don't really taste taco seasoning, but you know, I like to add it in because you know, I can. So. After that is all cooked up, I am going to add in all the rest of the ingredients. So the black beans, the can of tom that tomatoes, black olives, the cheese, and the tomatoes. So here's where I kind of messed up this recipe. I have never made it in the Instant Pot before. I have made it in the stovetop. I have made it in the microwave. I have made it in the crock pot. So I put it on to pressure cook for six, five minutes on low, uh, not remembering that the bottom of this pot gets extremely hot. So um, it, it burned on the bottom. So if you use the instant pot to do this, I would recommend doing it on the slow cooker setting or on the steam or just keep it on to the saute. And you basically just want to cook it until it is completely melted. And that's honestly it. It is so, so good, and this barely lasted a day with my family. So, give this video a big old thumbs up if you had fun, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you are subscribed, don't forget that little bell notification because it notifies you every time that I post a new video, which, as we all know, is every day. And I will see you lovely better tomorrow. Bye!